Welcome and welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel. It's the final match preview of the Premier League season. Manchester United versus Fulham. Let us know your thoughts and feelings going into this game and your thoughts on, on the overall season. Start us off, so with all your uh, insight onto this one. <laughs> well, I think what will happen is we'll start the game strongly. Strong team out there. That's what Eric Ten Hag will do. And I think what it'll do the second half, it'll just turn into a party atmosphere. Loads of subs introduced. Get the crowd involved. Get them all cheering. Appreciate the players. And it'll just be a big, big lap of honour. Everyone happy. And I think going into the game, I can see United beating Fulham. They'll have a go, but start a strong side off, get the goal, and then it's just party, 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 and then move on to that FA Cup final. That's the mood I see it. Yeah, I'm expecting a, an entertaining game, to be honest with you. I want the three points. I yes. want to finish in third place. And, you know, when the game finishes, let's give the lads a good reception and send them off to Wembley for next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking to see what happens with not just who he picks at the beginning, but who he brings on. Mm. I'm actually looking to see if Delo is involved in this team. Uh, he's under, uh, trans uh, not transfer, Contracts. contract negotiations. And I'm a bit concerned looking at that. Uh, if he signs, he signs. If he doesn't, then I think, to, uh, I think on Sunday, uh, it'll tell you that he's out the door because he has got an opportunity at some point to play in that game especially with Luke Shaw, under doubt with an injury. And obviously, Sunday will find out if he's in the squad, uh, Luke Shaw. But Delo, to me, if he doesn't come on that pitch, then uh, I think that's one of the players you might be seeing going out. Yeah, I know, I know where you're coming from. When you're looking at the last few weeks with Delo, yeah. he's not really been getting that much game time. But you know, judging on reports that are out there, negotiations with him signing a new deal are going very well. And it's a person that out there in the media, they're saying he wants to stay at Manchester United. It's not whether he wants to stay, it's whether Eric Ten Hag wants him to stay. And to be honest with you, I think Eric Ten Hag will want him to stay. I don't really see the right-back area at the moment as a priority position to get transfers in in the summer. Uh, obviously, depending on how much money Eric Ten Hag gets with his budget. But I do expect Delo to sign a new contract. And I think there might be one or, more, one or two more contract renewals signed after that FA Cup final. Maybe maybe I might be looking into it too deeply or with pessimism, uh, but as time's gone by, I've seen it before. These little things, it's an indicator. Mm. But Delo, if he stays, I'll be over the moon with him. I, I think he's improved along with Wan Bissaka there. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we've got two left backs. We've got potentially two right backs, maybe three left backs. So we're, we're good in that. Well, we have. We yeah. just seem we just seem to have players overloaded in certain positions. So it's a good thing. And I always. I always say, to start a good game, you need a good defence, and that's what United have got. But Fulham, I can't see them penetrating United's defence. Even though the game will turn into a party atmosphere, I think Fulham will just stroll around. After 50, 60 minutes, the heart won't be in it because hopefully the crowd will be right behind and uh, wishing them uh, all the best go to Wembley. I'm absolutely looking forward to this party atmosphere. Yeah, with you mentioning contract, I think the contract we need to focus on and get him tied up for his future is Marcus Rashford. Um, I see that as a as a priority, keeping players here at Manchester United and hopefully he can build on the season that he's had going forward and uh, improve as well as a player. Um, but sticking on to Marcus Rashford as well, do you expect him to start this game? Do you think he'll go strong? No, I, I expect him uh, to play. Uh, I don't expect him to play more than 45 minutes if he starts the game. Uh, I think Garnacho will be giving a great run out there mm. for 45 minutes. He'll need it. There's a possibility. You know, you've always got to worry about injuries coming through, uh, any recurrence of injury with Rashford. So Garnacho, 45 minutes. And I think, to be honest with you, with Anthony being injured, uh, there's a possibility the change of formation up front, Garnacho could prove a good game changer in this game against Fulham with a possibility of him starting at Wembley. That's how I see it. Yeah, um, me personally, I'd rest uh, Rashford and Casemiro for this one. I think they're two players who could do with the rest, you know, getting fit on top form going into that FA Cup final. And I think we would have enough in the wide areas if you started Garnaccio on the left, Sancho on the right, who I thought played well against Chelsea on that right-hand side. And with Martial up top and... Just thinking in the midfield, I'd put, I'd start Ericsson and possibly start McTominay. I want Fred having a rest 
as well. Because I do believe, and we'll get on to it probably next week, I think Fred will start in that FA Cup final alongside Casemiro or in that number 10 role with Bruno dropping deeper. But let us know your thoughts and feelings as well in the comments below. Do you think he will start strong, get the job done early and then start rotating in the yeah. game as we've seen? Get the job done early, but let, let's score a few goals as well. Yeah. Uh, that's what we want uh, to send us off in a happy, happy mood. But... I think we'll score a few goals here. Uh, I don't think Fulham will be up for the challenge. I think they will give us a go. Yeah. They'll come at us uh, for a bit of pride in that. But they, no one's going to say anything if they just like stroll around. Uh, they're already on the beach. They, they, they know what they're doing. Uh, I don't think they'll be overcommitted. Last time we played them, ended up in a carnage game, uh, mm. that FA Cup tie. Uh, I can't see anything like that happening. Mitrovic is back. Uh, he played last week. He had his big ban. Uh he might have something to say. I mean, you know he's a loose cannon uh, and he might want to put it into United and he might want to prove something by putting a, the ball in the back of the net. So keep an eye out for him. That, to me, is the only danger point which can create carnage. And to be honest with you, if Fred's on the pitch, I seen Fred the other night against Chelsea, mm. uh, he just seems to look as though he wants a battle, Fred. He looks fresh, though, Fred. Yeah, that's and right. And I think that's due to him, you know, having a lot more minutes on the bench than on actual the pitch yeah. in recent weeks. And that's just why I get the feeling Eric Ten Hag might be using him uh, for that FA Cup final. But going on to the defence as well, for the you know, going looking further ahead, would you expect Varane to sit this one out and maybe... I don't want to sound sentimental because we ain't got time as fans for sentiment in Manchester United and what we're building going forward. But could you possibly see Harry Maguire starting this one last game at Old Trafford, possibly alongside Lindelof and Molassi if Luke Shaw's not fit enough as well? Well, I, I don't expect Luke Shaw, to be honest, to be mm. wrist. Uh, but I, I do see Harry Maguire coming into it uh, only because of like the one or two injuries what are there, the doubts and mm. whatever. But it it's not out of sentiment, it's out of need. And Varane, give him the rest. The partnership with Lindelof and Maguire, it's been there for, for many a year. Yes, they can do a job. And really, they shouldn't have too much to worry about. Uh, Maguire, I think he'll have a, a good game. The game will be, at, at times, slow. So be patient with what's going on on the pitch. Mm. Maguire won't be in a rush. Lindelof won't be in a rush. Uh, and United will just try and get the goals uh, and slow the game down. N there's no panic here. The sun, hopefully, will be shining. Uh, and a few players will be able to uh, get a bit of that sunshine and a bit of a tan ready. Yeah, get some confidence. And like you said... That's what it's all about, let, confidence. Let, you've, you've nailed it. Yeah, let's try and keep a clean sheet. Get yeah. three or four goals on the score sheet. And that'll just build confidence going into next week as well. I'm going 2-0, me, son. 2-0? I've just thought about it there. 2-0. Yeah. That's enough. Nice, relaxed, <laughs> and do it. No, I just I, it's just come into me there. Two nil. I think two nil will be fine. Fulham will be happy with that. Everyone will be happy with that. Uh, happy days. That's all I see here. Just one question: Go Is on. there going to be any penalties or any cards given in this game? You mentioned before the Chelsea game, you thought there'd be a penalty, and there was. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. That mm. it just came out of me, and uh, and and uh, and I don't see it. I actually do see a, a two nil. That I just okay. see it clear as daylight. Two nil because. That's what we want. We're at home. We're at Old Trafford. It's a win we expect and it's a win we'll get. And Fulham, I'll be yeah. quite happy coming, putting up a bit of a fight and going away with 2-0 and back to Craven Cottage to go and yeah. regroup for next year. Yeah, I'm going 2-0. That means then we stay in third place, Premier League, already got the Carabao Cup, FA Cup final as well. And I think that's a good season for Eric Ten Hag's first season in charge. And let me know what you think. Can I? Well, I've just got to say, so I, know, I know it's the Fulham preview, but I've just got to say this, right? Manchester United are going to win that FA Cup final. <laughs> They're going to win it Come without on, a United. shadow of a doubt, right? You have to believe, and why shouldn't you believe? We've beat City at Old Trafford this year. They've beat us at their ground. It's at Wembley. It's Derby Day. And we'll be talking to you every day next week and the build-up for it. And I am so confident you should be. Yeah. And confident that we'll win 2-0 as well. 
and that's what I'm going with. Just like to thank everyone for joining us today, getting involved in the chat, get involved in the comments below as well. And if you want to talk and discuss about Edit Tenag's first season in charge, what you expect in the FA Cup final, more importantly, what you expect in the Fulham game, score predictions, team selections, all that good stuff, get it in the comments below and we'll interact with you. Smash a like on today's video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe as well if you've not already done so and press that notification because Webber and O'Neill will be back straight after the game for match reaction and I'll probably do one myself. So see you there. Thank you. Thank you.